Hello, so today I am coming super quick. I'm going to combine two videos into one. I'm going to do a small, small favorites, and I'm also going to do a super mini haul. Okay, well, it's a moderate haul, not quite mini. So I get right into favorites. So for summertime, I have really been loving a less foundation feel. Not necessarily less makeup look, but less feel. So for to get those, the Hourglass Primer, I think I mentioned this one before, but this is the number 28. And it doesn't have that super silicone-y feel to it. And so it just feels like moisturizing because like my skin be getting so dry, y'all. And it just kind of help evens everything out. So I thumbs up. I need to go ahead. Like, look and see where that's at. I need to go ahead and purchase the big bottle of that. The next things for foundations has been this NYX HD. And this one is in the color Nutmeg. I have the tan too, but my tan color, this one like matches super perfectly for. And it covers like, man, like it covers. For like $5, I was really surprised that it really does cover. It's not a concern that most companies would claim to be then you put it on and it's like where'd it go where'd it go so you really can get coverage out of that too and with that I'll kind of alternate in between the two with the cargo one base and this one is in color 70 nope a lot 45 oh kind of like NC 45 and it's the one base and what you can do is just kind of use this the spot where you need the spot at and then it could also be used as a foundation overall but I feel that if you put it on the spots you need to conceal it blends out really great and it wears like a real natural type finish and for powder I've been loving this clutch cosmetics I'm not sure it's not a a super national brand but um they have when I was home in uh, New Orleans I picked up some of these at the mall I picked up some of their products, and this was one of the things I got. And this is the Mineral Foundation and Almond. And it it goes with every foundation like I've ever used. The color is just nice brown, but the way it goes on, it just makes everything look airbrushed. Like, that's the perfect word for it. I picked up another foundation, too, with it, the cream one. But um, I need to play with that one more because the way I used it, it did not work out for me so I need to definitely try and figure out a different way to use that and for lips I've been loving these lip liners these two in particular they're from Jordana and one is like rock and rolls to just color it all over the lip and it looks like a nude lipstick and then to line it has this Terra Kiss and it's a more darker um, what's the one everybody used to use up on their lip? Chestnut. Like a chestnut type color from MAC. And also, this right here. Oh gosh, it's, it's getting almost empty. Lord Jesus, help me. I need to find something because that right there has your face on lock. I'm talking about your makeup ain't going nowhere. You got to work to get your freaking makeup removed to work because sun, heat, sweat. It's the business. That's why I mention it once again. So that's it for favorites. I'm going to get into my little mini, mini haul. And some of the stuff is kind of boring. Sorry. Uh, I went to the outlets. And of course, as always, CCO because I just can't go there without it. But all I picked up was the eyeshadow. And this one is in brown script. I do already have brown script, but I like it enough to where I felt that I could use the backup because I was pretty much almost on pan and my other one so it's like might as well they might be discontinuing it you know Mac get crazy and I think I'm wearing this one right now you can kind of see just as a wash over my lid and I love it for a neutral neutral look and then I went over to the um, this store designer fragrance and um something something the store who sells Lancome. And I picked up a tenant moisturizer type deal from them. And this one is in shade um, Suede Zero N. 
and it looks I've worn it before and it actually doesn't look too too bad it looks very similar to the NC45 shade in MAC as you can see but I brought a powder that was too dark so I brought a foundation that was a semi shade too light so it helped balance because I brought a powder from them too and this one is in ginger matte ginger and it's kind of red oh, and of course on the camera it doesn't look red at all but trust me it's red I like it it smells so freaking strong a perfume that I didn't know why you need that much fragrance in your makeup I don't know I guess it suits some people but one of the things I was really really excited about is that I picked up this um Armani lip glass and I almost brought this one when I was in Neiman Marcus like not that long ago like and this one is beige I'm pretty sure that was just and it's just beige so it's super super nude but if you like fresh brew this right here is like fresh brew in a lip gloss form with just as much if not even more coverage I'm telling you it looks so pretty like you ain't gonna be able to see ish on my hand but trust me it's a very new taupey color looks beautiful on today I'm wearing the, um, the bubble tea by Mac so I don't have that one on today but trust me if you want a new look that is definitely it then I picked up a nail polish and one of us across the room I picked up this simple one in my kryptonite and it's a very um green teal color it's super super pretty and I picked up one more too hold on I'm trying to get into wearing nail polishes so I've been practicing myself so don't mind my nails and I brought this really pretty royal blue one from Marshalls and it was like three dollars now, rest of the haul, Sephora, I hadn't been there in like two weeks. So I was like, oh, yes, 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 Mr. Sephora. Um, first things first, I got my birthday gift. My birthday's next month. Oh, my gosh, this is my, my big birthday. So I'm excited and dreadful at the same time, I guess. And I picked up this 100 per gift of a mattifying lotion. Then two things I picked up that I was really excited about was these freaking lip stains. I seen Kelly Rowland with this one on. It's the red one, just red, always red. And it looks so gorgeous on her. I think it was on Instagram or something that I seen it on. And I was like, boom, next time I'm in Sephora, that's mine. And while I was there, I seen this real purpley shade too that the model on the picture was wearing. And I'm like, that's pretty. So... Those are the only two I picked up from there. And Sephora came out with some concealers. Look at that. They, um, similar to the eyeshadow pots, but the coverage, like I tried it in the store and the coverage was super amazing. And they had a good bit of color ranges too. Like it wasn't just one shade for dark people. That they had multiple shade ranges. So I was really excited about that. I think they were... 15 it wasn't over $15 and they had a new foundation too I didn't pick that up I swatched it I said I'll go back when I um have more time to play with that one and uh, what is this one called mauve emotions I've been into that mauve look lately so this one's on clearance for five dollars but it's is nice pretty purple mauve so I was pretty good in Sephora you know not too too much I'm like lord jesus let me have the strength because I wanted so much more. Then we'll get into clothes. Picked up these booty booty shorts. These came from the outlets and they were 20 bucks for those shorts. And I picked up a crop top to go underneath the tank top type deal. Because I did not want to pay over $10 for one. And so this one was like $5. So I picked that one up. Then of course I went to Zara. Because I can't go tomorrow without going to Zara for some reason. I picked up this red bag. And it's super cute. Like, let me show you. It's hard for me to find a red bag that doesn't go, like, all the way down to your kneecap. So, this one right here kind of hits me right where I wanted it to hit. And it's simple, very plain. And it was only $19.99. Yes. 
So I was really excited about that. I get excited about all the stuff I buy if you ain't noticed. And Zara, I picked up basic stuff because usually I'm boring. It's kind of just what I do. White t-shirt. And hold on. Gets more exciting. A black tank top. It's the wrong way. Ooh. But it feels really, really soft and it's sheer. So that was a little different. And I picked up this cute little sweater. I know it's hot as crap right now, but I said it'd be cold before we know it. And I thought the little burgundy animal print was cute. Some tights and boots. Be ready for the fall, boo. Now, I ventured on over to the dollar store and just picked up a bunch of randomness that I didn't really need, but I still picked it up. They have Milani at the dollar store. I'm telling you, the lipsticks that are like eight, nine dollars up in Walgreens. The two colors I got is a red and like a maroon color. Can't see it in there, but just trust me. See, one dollar. And while I was there, I picked up some LA color lip gloss is lipsticks, rouges. I hadn't tried them yet, so I can't really comment on the quality. Even though typically I do try all my lip products before I'm even out there parking lot. So I know if I need to get more. And these are the ones I picked up. And it's like a purple color, a berry color, and then it has a wine color. So they are all pretty similar. But I felt it's a dollar. What's the worst that could happen? I don't like it. I throw it away. I give it to my goddaughter to play with. And I also picked up this little one that came with a gloss on the end so it has like a lipstick on one end and then a gloss on the other and I picked up this powder don't ask me why but I just remember somebody saying something about LA Colors foundations before so I'm like I gotta have it I went to Nordstrom's anniversary sale and they did have a lot of good stuff there I'm thinking about going back maybe again or venturing to see what I really want it was too much pressure to buy today I hadn't been shopping in a few like a week or two and so I didn't want to start because it would it would have been over. The Mac sets were pretty good but I felt that I had way too much already that was similar like all that glitters was in one showstopper was in something and I already have all that but they did that the lip bags are pretty which probably is the top because I want that makeup bag that it came with. Bobby Brown, Nordstrom, no, not Nordstrom's, um, Kevin Aquan even had a set at Nordstrom's, which was nice, but I didn't feel that it was super brown girl friendly, so I was like, uh, I only used 75% of it, I didn't feel like I would get a good use out of all of it, but don't quote me, because you might see it in my next haul, because that's the type of person I am, they did come out with a new powder in Kevin Aquan, the Sensual Skin Enhancer Powder, I'm like, I'm getting on the internet tonight to Google and see if they have more shades because that powder was bomb.com. It was so smooth, so pigmented that the color they had, it was like, I could only use it as a highlight. It was way too light to use all over. So that is my super, super mini haul and my summer favorites that we have. Ooh. If y'all have any questions, let me know and I would definitely hit back up. I, yeah, wow, I really didn't buy that much. I'm proud of myself. Go Netta, go Netta. All right, y'all, so y'all take care, and I will talk to y'all next time, okay? If I can stop the video. <laughs> Bye.